There's a ton of hosting providers and a lot of shills in forums and Reddit. In this video, I want to share my honest opinion about VPSs, dedicated servers and shared hosting plans that I actually paid for and I will tell you good and bad things about every provider I use. Right now I have one VPS and two shared hosting plans from Rackned, three VPSs from GreenCloud, one VPS from HostHatch, four dedicated servers from Hetzner, one root server from NetCap, one VPS from PHP Friends, one VPS from ByVM. That's quite a long list, but I had way more. I've used many other providers in the past, but because they weren't good enough, I've cancelled their plans. All providers I've listed are good because I paid for them and uh, worth considering, but for different reasons. So let's start from Racknerd. I've got VPS in 2020, one shared hosting plan in 2022, second shared hosting plan in 2023. Their shared hosting offer is honestly the best you can get. Modern Xeon CPUs, 80 megabytes per second I.O. limit, whereas big providers such as Hostinger give you 1 megabyte per second. All services I have with Rackned have great uptime, but the best thing about them is support. 5 to 15 minutes and your problem is fixed, no matter if it's day or night. Their shared hosting honestly doesn't have any cons, considering the price. But I cannot say the same thing about their VPSs. In fact, I will probably cancel VPS I have with them. All providers are constantly updating their specs, new nodes have better CPUs, some have NVMe, even in their budget VPSs. But Racknet is not upgrading their hardware for years. Right now you can get VPSs with better performance at the same price from different providers, such as GreenCloud. Speaking of GreenCloud, I have three VPSs from them because their price to performance ratio is just unbeatable. I especially love my special D that I got on Black Friday last year. 6 V cores from Xeon V4, 6 GB of RAM, 66 uh, GB disk, 6.6 TB traffic on a 10 GB network for 66 dollars per 2 years. So it's like 2.75 dollars per month. And they are already in market for 9 years already. In fact, in a couple of months they will have 10 year anniversary. And as usual they will have a promo on Low & Talk forum, so keep an eye on that. They don't cut corners on support. GreenCloud has very fast response time. They honestly don't have any cons, which is weird to say, but there is a reason why I have most VPSs from them. From HostHatch I have one big VPS, 2TB of storage for $110 per 3 years, so basically $3 per month. 2TB for $3. Performance of this VPS is good, it's not the fastest storage you can get, but it's good enough to transfer files at 1 gigabit per second, which is amazing considering the pricing. They have one huge con though. You have no idea what hardware you will get. Recently, I got 1TB storage from them for $5 per month, usual pricing on their site, and got absolutely horrible performance. Couple times worse than my 2TB deal that is not only 2 times bigger, but also cheaper. If you look up their deals at Low & Talk, they sometimes disclose what hardware you will get and that way you can get epic deal, just like me for 2TB. I wouldn't recommend to get VPSs from their public site, but I would absolutely recommend to take a look at their deals on Low & Talk. Now Hetzner, provider that I have 4 dedicated servers with. Honestly, if you want a dedicated server in Europe, look no further. Nobody can beat their pricing. I have 2 AX31 and 2 100TB storage servers. Good luck finding better deals, and these servers I got directly on their website without any hidden links or coupons. Standard prices. There is 2 cons though. They have free IPME, but no server has it integrated. They are using external IPME, which you need to request and then wait for them to connect it. OVH is a little bit more expensive, but has permanent IPME and more server locations, so you may consider them. Second con is DDoS protection. 
It's quite good for protecting websites, but if you want to host game servers, you will quickly learn why OVH is preferred over Hetzner for game servers. Netcap. I will only rate their root server offer. If you want to host production sites, for example e-commerce, in Europe, that's your choice. A lot of traffic with great international routing, dedicated logical cores, a lot of blazing fast NVMe storage, but they have one huge con. Typical German bureaucracy. They manually verify every user and quite often require a lot of documents, like proof of address, your ID, sometimes even electrical bill. In my case, they called me to confirm my details. If you are not hosting production sites, just hobby sites, it's not worth the hassle, honestly. But for business websites, I think they are one of the best choices. I've recommended their root servers to like 20 different people already and nobody complained. PHP friends, provider that is a proof that the German host doesn't need that much bureaucracy. Hands down the best customer experience. They treat you like business partner, not like random customer. They have great DDoS protection, but sometimes even best DDoS protection can fail. Well, if you have such problems and you will tell them about that, they will adjust filters for you. Even if you pay $10 per month, engineer will spend his valuable time to fix the issue. You need off-site backup? Well, one ticket and you will get it for amazing price. You are worried that restoring backup will take too much time? Well, they already thought about that too. And they have installed dark fiber to another data center. PHP Friends is a little bit more expensive provider, but clearly you get benefits from it. By VM is in hosting business for very long time. And there's perfect word that can describe them. Stable. They don't spend money on marketing, they have a little bit higher margins than the rest of companies, but that can be a huge plus. You don't need to worry about changing pricing, pricing is stable. You don't need to worry about changing owner of company, it will always be Francisco. You don't need to worry about changing performance, unless they upgrade you to faster node or faster networking. Last year, they upgraded 1 gigabit network to 10 gigabit network for free. Before that, they upgraded people on Xeon nodes to Ryzen's, also for free. But I don't recommend them just because of these reasons. I use them because of their killer feature, slabs. This is block storage that is built on a 40 gigabit InfiniBand with NVMe caching, basically the fastest block storage you can get and it costs just $1.25 for 256 gigabytes. $5 for ultra fast 1 terabyte of storage is amazing deal. And also you can get path.net network DDoS protected IP for just $3 per month. In terms of free goodies, they have internal direct admin license and Blesta license. My biggest issue with them is unclear traffic allowance. It's not unlimited and they will throttle you if you use too much. How much is too much? I don't know and they don't know. There is no specific number. ByVM says that it throttles only obvious abusers and I never saw anybody complaining about this throttle on Know and Talk forum. So maybe you don't need to worry about that? I just would love if they could make it more clear on their page. Time for summary. I've chose different providers for different reasons. Racknet for best shared hosting at low price. GreenCloud for best performance VPSs at low price. HostHatch for best storage VPSs at low price. HostHatch for the best dedicated servers at <laughs> low price. Netcap for sites that use a lot of bandwidth. PHP friends, if I would need to recommend VPS to someone who isn't that experienced, because their support is really friendly. PHP friends, friendly support. <laughs> Buy VM for fast block storage. What are your experiences with these providers? Would you recommend any of them? Or maybe you know even better provider? Let me know in comments. That's all for today. Have a nice day.